Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. Today we are going to discuss about a special type in system of linear equations and that will be our homogeneous system of equations. Now remember the word homogeneous implies same degree or for example if you have an equation like 2x plus 3y plus 6z equal to 4 you can see that degree of x is 1 degree of y is 1 degree of z is 1 and that is why we call it a linear equation but the right side being constant the degree will be 0 so this is not uniform this is not homogeneous so if you want this equation to be homogeneous then the only way is to remove the constant so I think you understood the system now so we will be dealing with a system in the form a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to 0 now look at this this is a homogeneous equation and we are interested in a system not in one equation but a system of equation so we'll have a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to 0 another homogeneous equation etc 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 anyway we learned how to solve linear equations using rank or rather using echelon form and the first thing we do is we put our equations in the form ax is equal to b where a stands for the coefficients and x is the column matrix which contains all the unknown variables or let's say unknowns and b stands for the right side the constants now in the case of homogeneous equations what happens is the system will be ax is equal to 0 where 0 represents the 0 matrix okay so here we have the augmented matrix a b so in the case of homogeneous system the augmented matrix will be a accompanied by 0 now look at this when we try to solve equations using echelon form or when we try to solve linear equations using rank method we use only row operations we never go for column operation that means this column doesn't make any sense or in the um, or let's say this column is not going to make any difference so what I'm trying to convince you here is rank of C will be always equal to rank of A in the case of homogeneous system or in other words the homogeneous system is always consistent so can you give me an explanation for that earlier we learned that in the last video in the previous uh, the videos before that we learned that if rank of C is not equal to rank of A then the system will be having no solution and if rank of C is equal to rank of A then the system will be consistent and the last column being 0 0 0 0 etc gives us a very interesting result that is rank of C will be rank of A and that means our system will be always consistent okay now let's try to figure it out so I'll give you an example 2x plus y plus z equal to 0 x minus y plus z equal to 0 and x plus 3y minus z equal to 0 so look at this we have a homogeneous system so what do we have here a homogeneous system because the right side is equal to 0 equal to 0 equal to 0 that is the constants are all equal to 0 so that the degree remains homogeneous uniform okay now I told you just a few minutes back a homogeneous system will be always consistent 
Now, consistent implies two things. Maybe the system will have infinite number of solutions or maybe the system will have unique solution. Now, I want you to guess a solution. Anyone try to guess one set of solution. I want one value of x, one value of y, one value of z because homogeneous system implies there will be a solution. Homogeneous systems are always consistent. But I don't know whether there will be infinite solution or unique solution. But there will be at least one solution. Can you tell me the value which will balance all the equations? Yeah, the origin. Actually, homogeneous system represents planes passing through the origin. So, all the planes will intersect at the origin. So, look at this. 0, 0, 0. Doesn't it satisfy the first equation, the second equation, third equation? Now, I have to tell you one more thing. Given a homogeneous system, it is always consistent. Now, consistent means it can have infinite solution or unique solution. And another interesting thing, here we don't need to write C is equal to A, B. That doesn't make any sense because that B part will be 0. So, if rank of A is equal to number of unknowns, because rank of C is equal to rank of A, and if it is equal to number of unknowns, we get unique solution and if rank of a is less than number of unknowns we get infinite solution so i want you to note this point every homogeneous equation will be consistent and consistent means it might have infinite solution or it might end up with unique solution and the second point here we are not going to write the augmented equation we will simply use A itself because rank of A is equal to rank of C. So, the augmented thing does not make much sense. So, the conditions are if rank of A is equal to N, then there will be unique solution and if rank of A is less than N, there will be infinite number of solution. So, I hope that is clear and I hope you have noted these points. So, let us work out one problem. So, please write the question. Okay, the question is, solve the system x plus 3y plus z equal to 0, 3x plus y minus 5z equal to 0, and 2x minus 2y minus 6z equal to 0. So, look at this. The question does not state like test for consistency or anything because they are confident there will be a solution. The system is homogeneous because the constants are all equal to 0. So, the degree will be same throughout all the equations. Okay, so, the first thing to do, A is equal to, so, A will be 1, 3, 1 and then 3 minus 5 and 2 minus 2 minus 6. Now, look at this. I am not going to write the augmented uh, matrix or anything. So, I am going to find the rank right away. So, can you tell me the operation? Yeah. R2 changes to R2 minus 3 R1 and R3 changes to R3 minus 2 R1. So, the second row and the third row is going to change. So, there will be no change in the first row. So, I am going to copy the first row as such. Now, the second row that is going to change. So, 3 minus 3 that will be 0 and then 1 minus 9 and minus 5 minus 3. Now, 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 6 and minus 6 minus 2. Okay, now we have 1 over here and all the elements beneath 1 are 0. So, I go to the second row and meet the first non-zero element and I am going to make him 1. So, can I guess the operation? Yeah. 
my target is in R2 so R2 changes to R2 times 1 by minus 8 so it's going to be 1 3 1 0 1 1 0 minus 8 minus 8 now I'm going for the next step that will be R3 changes to because my target is over here so R3 minus that will be plus 8 R2 so 1 1 minus 8 plus 8 minus 8 plus 8 okay that's it so look at this rank of A is equal to the number of non-zero rows and I can see two non-zero rows so it's equal to 2 and now the number of unknowns you can check it over here there are three unknowns x y and z so number of unknowns is equal to 3 so rank of a is less than number of unknowns so r is equal to 2 less than 3 which is equal to n so this means there will be infinite number of solutions now like before you should learn to read the equations from the last matrix now it's a homogeneous system so the equations will be x plus 3y plus z is equal to 0 and then y plus z is equal to 0 and that's it and we learned earlier n equal to 3 r is equal to 2 so n minus r is equal to one variable can be assigned arbitrary values so i'm going to set z equal to some arbitrary value now i'll put it over here so that i get y equal to minus z that will be equal to minus k and i'll put these two values over here so i'll get x minus 3k plus k is equal to 0 so x is equal to 2k so the solution will be 2k minus k k or if you want you can cut these cons common factor and you can write the solution is 2 minus 1 1 and all the vectors parallel to this all the vectors parallel to 2 minus 1 1 okay now let's try one more problem so please write the question solve the system okay so this is our system of equations and clearly the system is homogeneous why is it homogeneous because all the constant terms are equal to zero so as i told you before no need to write the augmented matrix just start with the coefficient matrix that is a is equal to 3 1 1 and then 2 0 minus 1 and finally 4 2 minus 1 now I have to make the first element 1 I have two options one is I will multiply throughout by 1 by 3 okay that's okay but I have a better option and I'm going to write it over here r1 changes to r1 minus r2 did you get the trick I can see 3 and 2 and if I do 3 minus 2 I'm going to get 1 and that will keep me far away from fractions so 3 minus 2 that is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 1 minus minus 1 is 2 and then the same thing 2 0 minus 1 4 2 minus 1 okay now take a look at this we have 1 and now I have to make the elements just beneath that 1 into zeros so can you give me the operations yeah r2 changes to r2 minus 2 r1 and r3 changes to r3 minus 4 r1 so the first row will remain the same and the second row will become 2 minus 2 into 1 and then 0 minus 2 
and minus 1 minus that will be minus 5 now 4 minus 4 then 2 minus 4 and then minus 1 minus 8 that will be minus 9 and now I have to make the first non-zero element in the second row 1 and I do not see any better option than multiplying by 1 by minus 2. So, I do not see any better option other than multiplying by 1 by minus 2. So, we get 1 1 2 and then 0 1 and 5 by 2 and then 0 minus 2 minus 9 and then I will write the next one R 3 changes to R 3 plus 2 R 2 and that will be 1 1 2 and we have 0 1 5 by 2 and 0 and minus 2 plus 2 will be 0 and the here minus 9 plus 2 times 5 by 2 and that will be minus 4. Now, I have to do one more step. Now, I have to do one more step, but that is optional, but let us go for it. So, the last step is, look at this, I have 1 and all the elements beneath 1 are equal to 0. Now, in the second row, the first non-zero element is 1 and all the elements beneath that are equal to 0. Now, I go to the third row and I meet the first non-zero element, I will make it 1. But I told you it is optional because we can predict the rank even without doing that. But still, let us go for it. So, it is going to be 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 5 by 2 and 0, 0, 1. So, rank of A is equal to 3 and that is equal to number of unknowns because the unknowns for x, y, z, 3 and that means this system will have unique solution. In the beginning of the video, I told you if a homogeneous system has unique solution, then that solution will be x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So, I hope you understood the method. I will repeat once more for the last time for your advantage. A homogeneous system will be in the form Ax is equal to 0 because the column matrix B will be equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, here we do not go for the augmented matrix but instead we find rank of A and we compare directly with N. If rank of A equal to N, then the system will have unique solution. And the unique solution in a homogeneous system will be nothing but X equal to 0, Y equal to 0, Z equal to 0. And if there are any more unknowns, all of them will be equal to 0, 0, 0. By the way, if rank of A is less than N, then what we do is there will be infinite number of solutions and we take n minus the rank as arbitrary values. So, n minus r variables will be assigned arbitrary values. So, I am going to stop the video here and I will be back with more videos. So, till then, bye.